a very very good morning hey good entrepreneurship tuesday morning to you my name is hilda wadidi and you are watching y254 channel and for our last interview of the day this fine entrepreneurship tuesday mm, we have a gentleman who has been selected or who had been selected to attend some schools that some of you you know it's not easy for us to get in if you have ever tried to apply for the young african leaders initiative my god you know it's a problem you know if you don't know about yali it's actually a flagship project of the former uh, u.s president which is who is Obama so you can imagine with us in studio we have one team leader for brand K marketing and communications and still an alumni of a very powerful school so it's about time we uh, hey, we get to interact with him Kidogo we find out what happened because today's topic is mentorship training Karibu sana Kevin's thank you so Randic. much Hilda, for having me yes uh, tell me what uh, hi, our viewers back at uh, home. Hilda, uh, once again, thank you so much for having me yes. here today. And uh, let's see what the show has got to have. Mm -hmm. I'm actually, um, I'm actually founder, mm -hmm. but I pick myself up as a team, team leader at uh, Brand mm -hmm. K Integrated Marketing and yes. uh, Communications Limited. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's been uh, a four-year journey looking mm -hmm. at it. Mm -hmm. In that, uh, a journey that started way back in uh, 2015. Mm -hmm. 2015, here we are in 2019, and yeah. I just decided I'm not going back to work for anyone again. Uh -huh. I just want to work for myself. Yeah. Well, you're so, not going back to work for uh, anyone. Well, yeah. I think I'd feel the same if I got drafted <laughs> for that day school. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I, I just felt, uh, you see, at times we talk mentorship, yes. yes. At times uh, we're talking all these bit that we have here about Branky, mm -hmm. but it's been a process. It's mm -hmm. been a process. Looking mm -hmm. at it, for example, between 2015 uh, June to 2016, when I tell someone that mm. at some point I decide to drive a taxi in the city, eh. as in someone won't, someone actually won't probably believe it's true. Uh -huh. But uh, one of my instances in this particular journey was mm. I was a taxi driver mm -hmm. during the night and a communications consultant during the day. At okay. that particular time, Brand K had not been born, mm -hmm. but here it is. Uh, here we are at uh, Y254 and uh, we're telling our story. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, before we go into your, you know, communications uh, consultants by day and taxi driver by night, I'm sure someone is wondering at <coughs> home because I'm sure I was wondering, like, what is, how do we get into this? What is so special? How did you get selected to join Cohort 11? Uh, wow, that's an interesting question. Yes. What was so special about me? Yes. <laughs> I... As a young person still who looks at other young people, I think it was all about potential. Uh -huh. On my side, I think I just took initiative. Mm -hmm. When I saw the call for application uh, opening, mm -hmm. I took the initiative. But again, this particular question reminds me of something. Yes. Uh, I had... I had I had information that uh -huh. Yali uh -huh. was available, uh -huh. but I'd never got a link. You see, there were times as a young person you're going online and you're trying to Google where is Yali yeah, so that I can I know, do the application. Yeah, I know. I've tried it. Trust me. Uh, and uh, <laughs> it's interesting. Uh -huh. What happened is there mm -hmm. was a certain Friday uh -huh. night when I was uh, keeping vigil. I wanted to get a client oh. to take home. Uh -huh. And do you know who the client was? Uh -huh. The client was just a recent graduate of the Young African Leadership uh, the the Yali the Yali yes. program. Yes. So when we're driving home, mm -hmm. she kind of engages me to find out, hey, are you really a taxi driver? So mm -hmm. I was like, I'm not a full-time taxi driver. This and this is what you do. And that is what the lady told me. Hey, you need to apply for this program. Uh -huh. And that's how two days later she shared with me the link. Mm -hmm. And uh, I applied for it and... Uh, the rest, as they say, is history. Millions of us apply for this thing, those of us who do know about this particular program. Why do you think they chose you? Why do they think they chose me? Mm. Right now, I think it was about grit and mm -hmm. uh, passion and that particular determination to make tomorrow better. Uh -huh. Because uh, the key element of the program is uh, when you go in, mm -hmm. will you be able to replicate uh, your learning materials to the outside persons. So mm -hmm. the outside persons is the generation that's outside who have not accessed, yes. who have not accessed the program. Yeah. And uh, the key thing for me right now, which kind of also inspires me, since 2016 when I got off the program to date, mm -hmm. I think I've been in a position of giving about 68 people Mm -hmm. jobs as in either contractual and uh, non-contractual and wow. I think that's the beauty the beauty of it the beauty of it all 68 people yeah, have about, got uh, their yeah, jobs yeah about 68 about, I like the fact that you keep yeah, your numbers in yeah, check about about <laughs> 68 I'm looking at it in terms of mm -hmm. uh, 
contractual persons yes. in terms of young people that have been able to get a budget just to give them some bits of work yes. including even right now when I know I know for a fact mm -hmm. I owe some young people quite mm -hmm. a chunk of money for a project they did in April so mm -hmm. in total it's about 68 as in that's contractual and non-contractual and uh, I thank God for it yeah Okay, when it comes to brand care, your yeah. company now, um, you focus mostly on infrastructure, technology, business, and education. Why those particular areas and not maybe entertainment or something, someone would ask? Uh, my background actually is in comms. Uh -huh. And I'm actually, I, I look at myself as a, uh, as a really versatile communications practitioner. Uh -huh. In that, uh, before doing all these things, by the way, I worked for Nation Media Group. Mm -hmm. So when I was getting off Nation Media Group, I had a stint whereby I had, I had touched the entertainment world. Mm -hmm. And uh, yes, it's, it's, it's an awesome space to be in. Yeah. But then again, when it comes to my purpose in terms of what I really want to achieve mm -hmm. in, uh, in life in terms of serving people, mm -hmm. uh, the entertainment route was not my approach. What were you doing at Nation Media? Uh, at Nation Media Group, I started up as a business executive person. Hey. I had a stint within uh, their corporate affairs. Okay. And uh, I left Nation Media Group as a brand manager uh -huh. uh, within the marketing department. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was kind of an impromptu move when uh, it happened. Mm -hmm. But then again, as uh, Michelle Obama says yes. the process of becoming. I also look at it right now as uh, that was my process of becoming. I didn't have it clear that at some point I'll be leading a, mm -hmm. a, a comms consulting agency, but there it is here. Mm -hmm. Here we are today. We're still pursuing and we're still pushing. Okay, so what plans do you have when it comes to your organization? Even when it comes to diversification, what happens? Like, is it just mentoring? What, what's next for you? Uh, what's next for me? I'm looking at uh, I'm looking at uh, four years mm -hmm. uh, in this. In that, uh, one of the key things I want to do over a, laft, uh, over a, a lifetime is uh, to build skill mm -hmm. that I'll be able to give unto others. Mm -hmm. And uh, with the brand key communications, is uh, uh, I'm saying that can it go beyond me? In that, mm -hmm. will it be at some point that I can? give it back to someone to run it and uh, when you're asking me about what's there for me in four years is uh, like you see right now i'm looking forward to going to do a doctor of philosophy in communications wow and uh, the reason why i probably want to do that is i just want to build expertise within communications that will enable me to go back to the lecture halls mm -hmm. and uh, going back to the lecture halls is i'm saying uh, based with all knowledge i have within entrepreneurship mm -hmm. mentorship communications can mm -hmm. i be someone who will trick all this knowledge back mm -hmm. to uh, to the coming generation and that's basically what i'm looking at as also my retirement plan because actually running running a farm Hilda is crazy I can imagine it's crazy like uh, uh -huh. when I got a call yesterday from you mm -hmm. uh, you people uh, mm -hmm. asking me if I could come to this particular show mm -hmm. I was actually down and mm -hmm. uh, today by the uh, thanks to you guys I think you kind of just gave me something to wake up in in the morning off to just come and do and oh, uh, I yeah, yeah and uh, when you talk about running mm -hmm. a company is mm -hmm. crazy mm -hmm. you know at times I ask myself Aish, for how long do I really want to keep on doing this? Mm -hmm. Because in order for you to inspire others, you mm -hmm. also need to inspire yourself. Yes. And in order for you to inspire yourself also, you need to also really build in a lot of energy in terms of uh, accessing information, mm -hmm. uh, uh, networking, uh -huh. uh, pitching, which is not actually really easy. Yeah. And uh, mm -hmm. I was telling my friend yesterday that I don't think I want to be like a Jack Ma. I, I, I don't think I want to be <laughs> like uh, the Bill Gates in terms, of, uh, uh, in terms of the billions, but my desire and prayer is mm -hmm. by the time I leave this world let me be at a place where I served my purpose in terms of just leaving it empty and I think that's what drives me that's powerful yeah, yeah. but uh, you mentioned something about uh, uh, people being able to identify your potential how do you identify uh, potential from people the people that you train the youths that do come under brand care how do you identify their potential uh, how do you get these 68 people to work uh, I am I am at a process now whereby, let me probably phrase it this way, mm -hmm. I'm a believer of giving chances. Mm -hmm. And uh, oh, I giving chances. Yeah, I'm a believer of giving oh. chances. And uh -huh. uh, let me story tell, let me answer this question differently. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lady called Mumbi Kiga. Mm -hmm. Mumbi Kiga is a... Uh, a public affairs manager at Dow Chemicals. Mm -hmm. And Dow Chemicals is a global company. Mm -hmm. Now, there's a time last year when Mumbi met me, mm -hmm. uh, she only had, I think it was about three scenarios mm -hmm. of me of me and her in terms of interaction. Mm -hmm. The third one was, hey, Kevin, mm -hmm. I want you to 
uh, to reply a request of proposal. You see, when someone sends you a concept, then uh, he yes. or she wants to get your ideas. Mm. So Mumbi shared that with me, and uh, I replied. Mm -hmm. And uh, all of a sudden, not like he, she wanted 10 years experience, mm -hmm. like 18 years experience, mm -hmm. Mumbi gave me a global project of theirs to manage. And that was last year in April, uh -huh. yeah, last in April. Uh -huh. And you know what, Hilda, what happened? Uh -huh. I look at myself as someone who was born in Akuru. Mm -hmm. And uh, it is, I'm in Nairobi trying to get opportunities. Mm -hmm. Dow Chemicals allowed me to handle the Under Secretary of Commerce from the United States, Gilbert Kaplan. And uh, I, did set up, I did set up a whole VVIP event mm -hmm. for it. Uh, she allowed me to handle the security team of the U.S. Embassy, whereby Godek was coming, the former ambassador was coming, mm -hmm. and uh, plenty of other dignitaries mm -hmm. who were supposed to come to the launch of uh, this water project. Mm -hmm. And you know, since then I always ask myself, if someone can trust me with such a magnitude event without introspecting me without kind of just trying to say, will he deliver? Mm. Then whom am I not to give someone else an opportunity? Mm -hmm. After accessing that, I mean, how best can I trickle the knowledge I have to other people? It's by just seeing someone like the way I can probably see Hilda or the team and I'll be like, she can try. Mm -hmm. And the least that I can do is to give the person opportunity to try. Mm -hmm. I have failed before mm -hmm. and I've picked up these failures to mm -hmm. build up success. And the same thing is also what I believe uh, with all other young persons, mm -hmm. all other my peers, that the only way to make someone scale up is by giving them an opportunity. If you never give them an opportunity, then they'll never get to kind of discover themselves or uh, explore themselves. I'm glad you've yeah. mentioned failure because now let's talk about that. How yeah. did you come? How did you? Because many people say that uh, fa uh, failing, falling is not really failing. It may be just refusing to give to wake up after that is what is failing. What was your experience? What is it that you failed at completely and you are like, oh, and you had to pick yourself up from? Uh, that you can recall out of your many that, experiences. That, that I can recall. Mm. One is uh, when I when I was trying to find my way in that. I've left National Media Group. Mm -hmm. Things are not clear. Mm -hmm. uh, one day I think I was tasked to do a media briefing. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was somewhere at Samia. Mm -hmm. And you know, I kind of had that, that confidence that my background is in media. I have contacts in media they are going to come. Mm -hmm. Do you know what? Mm -hmm. They never came. Mm -hmm. uh, no media person showed up at that particular event. Uh -huh. And uh, the client was mad. The client was the client was mad. The client mm -hmm. was the client was absolutely mad. I remember that day very well. It was on a Tuesday, Wednesday, and you know, I asked myself, <laughs> asked myself, you know, that particular day, I asked mm -hmm. myself, what did I not do right? What did I not do wrong? Mm -hmm. Actually, to date, I still look at that particular instance, and, and I, I, I still, I still don't sense. have any <laughs> idea what actually happened. Mm -hmm. And uh, I lost, I lost that client. I don't mm -hmm. even think we've uh, touched base to touched base. Uh, to Same. date, uh -huh. yeah, that's uh, that was uh, is it in 2017 January? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I look at 2017 January, mm -hmm. and I'm, here we are in 2019 June. Mm -hmm. The magnitude of work that uh, I've ended up doing since then to date is mm -hmm. enormous. It's incomparable. Uh, yeah, yeah, as in it's completely incomparable. Uh -huh. And Macu, at that particular time. I had come out of the Young African Leadership Initiative. Yes. So in as much you as... You had in, now become an alumni. Yeah, I'd already <laughs> become an alumni, but uh -huh. there it is again, I'm accessing failure. Mm -hmm. And uh, all I can say now is uh, I'm at a point whereby I know, yes, there's still much in life. I'm at a point whereby I'm not scared of failing, mm. and I'm at a point whereby I'm not scared of rising. Mm -hmm. uh, in, in that, the, uh, it's like I put them under a balance. Mm -hmm. uh, I, 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 I am a believer of... It's not a guarantee that mm -hmm. uh, even an event I have tomorrow is going to be it's successful. Like yeah. But the key thing is, I always say nowadays is, however how tough it is, it's my chance of stepping up. Mm -hmm. And the only thing that can happen once I've stepped up is to step down. Mm -hmm. And so long as I have the gift of life, mm -hmm. as in the only other alternative is for me to step up back again. And I think that's some of the mantras that uh, drive me right now when it comes to how do I look at failure. I yeah. like the fact that you've mentioned that because someone also told me like if your life is a straight line then you're a dead person. Yeah, like sure, sure. it has to go up, down, up, down, up, up down. down. Because yeah. even in the machine it shows your heart beat yeah, exactly, up, down, exactly. up, down. Yeah. Well no no that we've talked about your down. Let's talk about the up. Like what has been your greatest accomplishment uh, since the formation of brand, brand K and also maybe during your time at Yali? Uh, 
My greatest beat is uh, I look at two weeks, about two weeks ago, that's last month. Wow, so soon, so recent. Uh, and uh, that, was, uh, mm -hmm. that was really, uh, that was an, an event I was tasked by Dow Chemicals again. Oh. It and, appears uh, it these was, people uh, are your yeah, angels. Yeah, no, no, I, I mean, <laughs> it's, just, it's just really interesting mm -hmm. uh, because uh, I was tasked to set up a stakeholder event of young persons mm -hmm. with zero to eight years experience uh -huh. uh, within the industry who are doing incredible stuff within their community. Mm -hmm. And I managed to achieve... 102 percent attendance wow 102 I, I, yeah 102 you're really good with your numbers I, yeah imagine noticed. 102 percent mm -hmm. attendance I, I mean you do interviews at times in calling a guest they yes, don't come yes. but it is it was on a weekday these guys were busy and they graced this event and it was 102 so i, I was targeting 20 so i ended up having 22 mm -hmm. including a chief executive officer of one of the hospitals of the country mm -hmm. that was really that was really mind boosting mm -hmm. mind boosting for me uh, mm -hmm. the other one is when uh, I hosted uh, Gilbert Club Kaplan. That's the Under Secretary of Commerce from the United States yes. last year. That mm -hmm. was uh, that was really something. That was really something for us as a as a group, mm -hmm. and that was also really something for me as someone who's leading mm -hmm. other people too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Well, speaking of leadership, when it comes to uh, starting your own thing, your own initiative, and what have you, how did you get your resources together? How did I get my resources together? Yes. I, sincerely, I don't know how to answer that. I'll just say it was by grace. I've listened to grace. I've listened to the two the two uh -huh. uh, interviews that uh, uh -huh. were probably here before. Yes. I all I know is I've never I never borrowed any money mm -hmm. to kind of register the company, mm -hmm. and uh, I never got into picking a loan mm -hmm. with the bank to kind of setting up one or two, three things that uh, probably I have. So and how did I, you and do it? Today, what, what grace let me just say, let me just, let me just say this was <laughs> grace. And even here today on this particular set, yes. I know I'm in debt. Mm -hmm. I, I know there's someone who is waiting for me to dispatch some money which is yes. due today. Yes. And um, I was sitting there waiting and I was like, ah, man, where am I going to get this particular money to kind of, mm -hmm. to kind of, to kind of offset? Mm -hmm. uh, key for me as in from uh, where I started to where I am, mm -hmm. let me just say it's grace. Mm -hmm. I mean, for those who are spiritual, as in either Muslim, either Christian, mm. for me, uh, the journey of four years to where I am here today, Hilda, as a young person, mm -hmm. I would just testify it's by grace. Because even my parents, mm -hmm. uh, right now, being a firstborn of mm -hmm. a family of uh, four, mm -hmm. I've one and uh, the three others, mm -hmm. you know, they still don't understand what I do. Mm -hmm. I know my sister, yes, kind of came in through, uh, we've worked together, she's trying to find herself, and mm -hmm. I know right now she's uh, comfortably somewhere as in working, mm -hmm. but if you're to meet my dad today, mm -hmm. and uh, if you're to meet mom, mm -hmm. and uh, probably ask them, what does what's Kevin your son do? doing, I am, I am a hundred percent sure they'll not <laughs> actually get to see what I get to do. Mm -hmm. And uh, an interesting thing when uh, we're talking about these finances bits and uh, yes. all these, sometime last month when mm -hmm. I'm telling you I deliver this great event for yes. one of our clients mm -hmm. is my dad called me and uh, he was telling me, hey, Kevin's, I've seen some advertisement for some work. Mm -hmm. Please don't wish uh, you, <laughs> you, get to, you you get to you get to try. <laughs> and uh, you see that's that's time. that's yeah that's that's family <laughs> love. I mean at times uh -huh. it's the least at times we'll get to expect. Yes. But sincerely in terms of the finances bit, I can't really recount. Mm -hmm. I can't really recount. Two mm -hmm. moments when I was trying to do my taxi ride mm -hmm. at night mm -hmm. to coming in during the day to mm -hmm. kind of bouncing back and mm -hmm. uh, being here. Right now, mm -hmm. sincerely, I can't have the dots to attest how that particular journey was. I know it was tough. Mm -hmm. I know it was bitter. Mm -hmm. I know probably that those times where I, I woke up and was like, what do I need to do? Mm -hmm. But uh, here it is. I just thank God that I'm here today as in, and there's still so much ahead mm -hmm. for me to pursue and uh, just get to accomplish. That's the least I can say. I can't really l lie that I picked up a loan because mm -hmm. I haven't. Mm -hmm. But then again, I it's know. Good to be honest. Uh, yeah, but then again, I know there's uh, <laughs> uh -huh. there's uh, 
friends, mm -hmm. uh, uh, like this one common friend of mm -hmm. mine, mm -hmm. I'll call her Agnes Barasa. Agnes mm -hmm. Barasa is the director of Red Giant Media Agency. Mm -hmm. Such mm -hmm. a young person, just mm -hmm. still like me. I didn't know some projects when kind of I didn't have uh, finances to kind of mm -hmm. to kind of offset it. Yes. I know she stepped up in mm -hmm. for me, and uh, later on, uh, I, I did. Uh, I did. Uh, I was actually going to ask yeah, you about I've, that. I've, now I've, that I've you just, do the I've, mentorship I've, I've and training, have yeah. you been mentored and trained by anybody? And it's like you've already gone there already. Oh, uh, Agnes. Uh, no, no, but <laughs> now the interesting thing about Agnes, mm -hmm. you know, we are peers. Mm -hmm. uh, me and Agnes were peers. Also, oh, you, you can be mentored by your peer. I, yeah, it's really possible uh -huh. for you to get positive energy from someone who's close who is close to you in yes. that uh the previous lady who was here was in tourism was talking about the element of uh yes if you can do it, mm -hmm. if uh, you just have that belief that uh, you can do it, mm -hmm. or rather you can see it from someone that this particular person is doing it, so you'll kind of end up attracting some positive, yes. some positive energy into mm -hmm. it. And I know as in for a fact, in a way, on my journey of entrepreneurship, mm -hmm. uh, Agnes kind of also influenced my mindset, though mm -hmm. she never probably even knew that she's influencing my mindset oh. because we worked with her uh -huh. uh, during her journey of entrepreneurship. Uh -huh. And uh, I think when I was also just picking myself in that particular process, mm -hmm. I ended up picking some attitudes mm -hmm. from her without her necessarily doing what, without her necessarily necessarily knowing uh, so you do subscribe to the idea that your network is worth your network. yeah yeah the network uh, the, the network beat uh, mm. the more you need to kind of build a tangible network mm -hmm. the more net worth mm -hmm. you you yes, become yeah. I think there's no any there's no any other way about that in that mm -hmm. the people you kind of associate with in terms of your mindset yes. the people you deal with in terms of how you speak to them yes. the persons you hang out with yeah. in order for you to actually just think that global mm. or just think that regional mm -hmm. or think infrastructure though you're asking me mm -hmm. you really need to kind of be intentional to package yourself around people you feel you're like-minded with mm -hmm. they need not to necessarily be your internal yeah. circle mm -hmm. but now they need to be kind of around around yes. your circle then yes. in the process I know you'll kind of weed in yes. that person whom you live to really come in close close with you yeah so so if somebody was interested mm -hmm. in, 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 in finding you and in, in getting your services and maybe even just learning or even just hanging out with you, you know, asking you a few questions, where can they find you? Uh, all right. <laughs> I'm, I'm really shy on answering that <laughs> question. And uh, you know why I'm shy on answering why that question? Shy? Because mm -hmm. I'm already overwhelmed mm -hmm. in terms of uh, the young persons who reach out to me for mentorship. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I always tell my... I'm easy and I always tell my mm -hmm. few people, rather people getting close to me that I really want to be intentional mm -hmm. when I'm picking up advisory services to you other yes. than just say hey come 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 mm -hmm. i really want to be intentional yeah and uh, i'm not scared of giving it out you can find me at mm -hmm. kevin srandiek mm -hmm. kevin srandiek is my handle across all platforms that's mm -hmm. k-e-v-i-n-s-r-a-n-d-i-e-k mm -hmm. you can find me at kevin srandiek on twitter at kevin srandiek on linkedin mm -hmm. at kevin srandiek on mm -hmm. uh, instagram at mm -hmm. kevin srandiek on uh, on, uh, on Facebook and uh, of course again if you just want to uh, check out uh, the site you can uh, get us on uh, h double t p at brankeimc.com yeah it's been amazing having yeah, you in sure. studio today thank yeah. you so much for coming <laughs> it's a pleasure to Hilda for having me and uh, we look forward to many many more and uh, yes let's just keep on building the future yes yeah true that I like that young leader <laughs> indeed <laughs> I totally you, appreciate you, thank you your presence me. this yeah, thank morning you, thank you all right you've been watching entrepreneurship Tuesday please do not go anywhere my name is Hilda Wadidi if you do want to participate if you do want to tell Kevin a few things here and there you know if you want to talk to any of the guests we've had here please make sure you follow us on our social media platform it's at 254 channel everywhere please do not go anywhere.